Hello friends and welcome back. This lecture will be an introduction to variables in Java. Here is our outline. We will talk about variables, memory, declaration, initialization, assignment, and finally we will print the value of a variable. So let's get started. What is a variable? A variable is used to store values in our computer's memory. So our computer has a memory. And to store values in this memory, we need to reserve some space. And this is done using a variable. Also, each variable has a specific type. And it is called a variable because the value inside it can change. Now let's have a look at the computer's memory. You can imagine that a variable is like a box in the computer's memory. So look at this table over here. Consider that this table is the memory of our computer, alright? So it is divided to boxes as you can see. Now in this box over here, we have some data, which is the number 5.7. And also here we have a string, and here we have a number 23. So these three boxes are variables, alright? They are containers in our memory where we can store some data. Now let me tell you this. Each variable has an address. So for example, suppose that 100 is the address of this variable, and 150 is the address of this one, and 200 is the address of this one. All I want you to know is that each variable has a unique address in the memory, and this address specifies where this variable is located, alright? Now let's talk about declaration. So what is declaration? It is basically allocating some space inside our memory. So as we said before, to store some data in the memory, we have to reserve some space. And this is called allocation. So declaration is allocating some space in the memory. So to allocate some space in our memory, we declare a variable, alright? We do it like this. We put the type of the variable, and then we leave a space, and then we put the name of the variable. And the name of the variable is optional. It can be anything, alright? And as you can see, we have a semicolon over here. So declaring a variable is a statement in Java. Now, the type of the variable should be compatible with the data inside it. So for example, to store a string inside a variable, the variable's type should be also a string, alright? So have a look over here. I'm declaring a variable called my name and its type is a string. Note that I'm using the camel case convention in order to give a name to this variable. And the type of this variable is a string. So my name is a variable and I will be able to store a string inside it. And of course, we will end this with a semicolon. So remember, we are declaring a variable called my name and it can store a string. Now, what if we want to declare multiple variables of the same type? Then we can do it like this. We can put the type and then we leave a space. Then we put the name of the first variable. And after that, we put a comma and then we put the name of the second variable. And if you want to make another variable, you just put a comma and put the name of the third variable and so on. And when you are finished, you end the statement with a semicolon. So let's see this example. I'm declaring variables of type string. So we have string over here and then I leave a space and this is the first variable. It is called my name. And after that, I put a comma and this is the second variable. It is called my job. So my name and my job are two variables that can store a string. Okay? And finally, Note that a variable must be declared before it can be used. So we cannot use a variable without declaring it. And this is straightforward, because in order to store some data in our computer's memory, we have to allocate some space. So this means that we have to declare a variable, alright? Now let's see how we can put some data in a variable. So we will talk about assignment. So it is used to store or to put a value inside a variable, alright? So we can assign a value to a variable by using the assignment operator, which is the equal sign. We do it like this. We put the variable name, and then we put the equal sign, and then we put the expression, all right? So let's see this example. We are saying that the variable that is called my job will be equal to this string over here. And we are terminating the statement with a semicolon, all right? So the string programmer will be stored inside the variable my job, okay? And to do that, we are using the assignment operator, which is the equal sign. Now, you might be asking, what is an expression? Simply, an expression is anything that produces or gives a value, alright? So for example, 1 plus 3 is an expression. And also, 4 multiplied by 2 is an expression. Because 1 plus 3 produces a value, which is 4. 
and also 4 multiplied by 2 produces a value which is 8 and also this string over here is an expression it actually produces a value which is this string itself all right so now let's talk about initialization it is basically assigning a value to a variable when declaring it so let's see some examples have a look at this statement over here I'm declaring a variable called my job of type string and immediately I'm assigning this variable to be equal to this string over here and also this is a statement so we will end it with a semicolon so this over here is called initialization so it is assigning a value to the variable in the same time that we are declaring it all right so this statement over here is equivalent to the following first of all we will declare the variable my job of type string and after that we will assign to the variable my job the value programmer okay so now let me tell you this do not redefine variables so consider the following code we have this main method and inside it we have these three statements in the first statement we are declaring a variable of type string and it is called my job all right so this is okay on the second statement we are declaring another variable which is also called my job and it is of type string so basically we are redeclaring the same variable so this is not okay and it will give us an error all right now let's have a look at this statement suppose that you want to assign a value to the variable my job you have to be careful not to define the variable again so in this statement i'm redefining the variable because i'm saying string my job is equal to programmer so this is also not okay so i want you to be careful about two points the first one is that each variable has a unique name so for example in the second statement if we used another name over here this will be okay what's important is that each variable must have a unique name also when assigning a value to a variable do not define it again so in the third statement if we didn't put this string keyword over here everything will be okay and we will be able to store the programmer string inside the variable my job all right now let me tell you this always initialize your variables this will give you less errors and less code and more readable code okay now let's see how we can print the value of a variable we are going to use the print or print alarm method so have a look at this code over here we have a main class and inside it we have a main method in the first statement we are initializing a variable called my job it is of type string and we are assigning it to be equal to the string programmer all right so after this statement is executed we will have a box inside our computer's memory that contains the value programmer all right and the name of this box will be my job so in order to print the value of this variable all we have to do is to use its name so over here we are calling the method print alan and we are giving the name of the variable as a parameter so what will happen exactly java will look for a variable that is called my job and yes it was declared over here and remember that in order to use variables we have to declare them so it is important to declare this variable before we are printing it okay so after that the print alarm method is going to print the value of this variable which is in this case the string programmer all right so have a look over here i compiled the program and then i run it and here is the output we can see the string programmer printed okay so this is it for this video great job and i'll see you in the next one